Milo from No Budget here with a quick Premiere Pro tip for you. Have you been seeing this message? The project appears to be damaged and cannot be opened. Well, first I'm going to show you how to fix it or a workaround, and then I'm going to show you the cause. Uh, so to get the error, basically launch a Premiere Pro project that you're working on, um, and which I'm going to do here with one that I've got going. Wait for it to open and voila, the error appears. So the workaround, okay out of this, and then you're gonna need to close, exit out of Premiere Pro, and what you have to do is actually go and launch Premiere Pro first. And so that's what I'm doing right here. I'm waiting for Premiere Pro to launch on my computer. No, this is all on a Windows machine as well, so uh, how this would work if you get in this error on a Mac, I couldn't help you with that one. All right, here we go. Now, opening my project, and what it's going to do is give you a renaming. So basically, the issue is that it's uh, conflicting with an older version of Premiere Pro. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to leave the dash one at the end of it. load and here we go everything's working fine what you want to do then is of course go resave it um, you can name it if you want or just leave it at the dash one savings so the cause of this or at least the cause for me notice here I've got two files now that original one and then the new one that's created so for me the cause of this actually had to do with um, an older version of Premiere Pro being installed on my machine. So notice when I go to my uninstall programs, I've got the most recent version of Premiere Pro CC and then also a version of Premiere Pro CS6. So all I needed to do was uninstall the previous version of CS6 and um, once that uninstalled, I was able to actually open that previous file without getting that error. And that's pretty much a quick little tip for you. Be sure to subscribe and I'll be throwing on some more Premiere Pro tutorials in the future.